Hello everybody, um, this is Benny coming to you. Just wanted to do something different. I never do videos, so I'm going to do one. Um, throughout the month of February, I had the awesome opportunity to be a part of Arena Players of Baltimore's um, season this year and God's Trombones. Um, it was directed by Kwame Kenyatta Bay, of course, written by James Weldon Johnson, who we all know gave us Lift Every Voice and Sing, the Black National Anthem, as it's known as. Um, so just a little background, I was cast to do the sermon, um, the Judgment Day, um, the very last sermon in this production, which this production is a series of sermon that starts off with a prayer. Um, before the production was over, specifically the very last weekend, I had the opportunity and the awesome um, um, opportunity to also do the uh, monologue for Go Down Death, a funeral sermon. Um, this was originally done by Khadija ha um, Hameen. Um, I was missed your name up there, Khadija. But, um, very talented, very gifted young lady who can sing and act out of this world. But it was an awesome opportunity just because this um, Go Down Death, the monologue, is a eulogy actually for the matriarch of a family and also a matriarch for a generation of people. It represents a um, um, just the death of a generation of people but it also was pers became personal to me because this was done in February February 1st 2015 um, my mother transitioned um, to go to God and um, so it became kind of personal in that way and a lot of um, what I sensed the um, character or the subject matter or the matriarch of this m monologue was talking to kind of um, made me feel that um, this was a very strong matriarch and it kind of just reminded me of my mother so um, and I know of several other people who um, um, lost their mother during the month of February and just no matter what month or it may have been but it it became, you know, one of my favorite monologues, and um, I do know of several people who are going through um, bereavement now, and so I kind of just wanted to do this monologue just to, as a tribute, which I did in my heart while I was doing it that final weekend of the production, as a tribute to my mom, and also a tribute to anyone else who may have lost a great matriarch. So um, I just wanted to come on and do this monologue for you. Um, it's taken once again from the um, from the play God's Trombones, written by James Weldon Johnson, and it's called "Go Down Death: A Funeral Sermon." So here we go. Weep not, weep not. She is not dead. She's resting in the bosom of Jesus. Heartbroken husband, weep no more. Grief-stricken son, weep no more. Let lonesome daughter, weep no more. She's only just gone home. Day before yesterday morning, God was looking down from his great high heaven, looking down on all his children, and his eye fell on Sister Caroline, tossing on her bed of pain. And God's big heart was touched with pity, with the everlasting pity. And God sat back on his throne and commanded that tall, bright angel standing at his right hand, Call me death. And that tall, bright angel cried in a voice that broke like a clap of thunder, Call death, call death. And the echo sounded down the streets of heaven till it reached the way back to that shadowy place where death waits with his pale white horses. And death heard the summons and leaped on his fastest horse, as pale as a sheet in the moonlight. Up the golden street death galloped, and the 
hoofs of his horse struck fire from the gold, but they didn't make no sound. Up that road to the great white throne and waited for God's command. And God said, go down, death, go down. Go down to Savannah, Georgia, down in Yamacra and find Sister Caroline. She's borne the burden and heat of the day. She's labored long in my vineyard. She's tired. She's weary. Go down, death, and bring her to me. And death didn't say a word, but he loosed the reins on his pale white horse and clamped the spurs to his bloodless sides. Out and down death rode through heaven's pearly gates, past suns and moons and stars, on death rode and the foam from his horse was like a comet in the sky. On death road, leaving lightning's flash behind, straight on down he came. While we were watching round her bedside, she turned her eyes and looked away. She saw what we couldn't see. She saw old death. She saw old death coming like a falling star. But death didn't frighten Sister Caroline. He looked to her like a welcome friend. And she whispered to us, I'm going home. And she smiled and closed her eyes. And death took her like a baby. And she lay in his icy arms, but she didn't feel no chill. And death began to ride again up beyond the evening star, out beyond the morning star, into the glittering light of glory, onto the great white throne. And there he lay, Sister Caroline, on the loving breast of Jesus. And Jesus took his own hand and wiped away her tears and smoothed the furrows from her face. And the angel sang a little song and Jesus rocked her in his arms and kept the saying, take your rest, take your rest, take your rest. Weep not, weep not. She is not dead. She's resting in the bosom of Jesus.